chiquita está muy feliz, ella baila sabrosito. Mi chiquita está muy feliz, ella baila con mi ritmo. Ella se ve correna como diva, ella me ve como su rey, como su vida. Mi chiquita le gusta bailar, ella baila suavecito. Mi chiquita está muy feliz, ella baila con mi ritmo. Ella se ve como hermosa diva, ella me ve como su rey, como su vida. ¡Ok! ¡Vamos a bailar! George, you need something? That woman over there. Which one? The beautiful one. The one in the blue? No, the pink. Do you think the one in the blue is pretty? I mean, it's subjective. Well, she is attractive, I suppose, if you're into that kind of casual, laid-back kind of thing. But no, the pink. The one with all the angst. Do you know her? I think she's been here before, but I couldn't swear on it. Would you send her a scone? The spinach and feta's just out of the oven. Maybe a muffin. What kind? Well, what do you think? I don't want to send the wrong message. Well, the double chocolate chip is quite nice. Right. One of those then. Sure thing, George. Now, can I see the gentleman in the corner? Oh, is that okay? She's never had anyone send me a muffin before. A drink in a pub, sure, but never a muffin. Do you want me to take it back? No, it's lovely, thanks. Who sent it? The guy in the corner. Oh, brilliant. No, this corner. Oh. <laughs> Please, tell him thanks. <laughs> will do. He'll want to come over though, you know. He will? You're not his first muffin. Oh, I see. He's not nice, really. Harmless. Harmless? Really? Promise. Look, any problems, just give me a wave. Okay. Thanks. <coughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, thank you for the muffin. You're most welcome. What are you reading? Ten ways to gracefully accept a muffin in a coffee shop. <laughs> really? No. Oh, right. Well, uh, I don't want to interrupt you. I, I, I just wanted to say hello. Hello. <laughs> right. Grant. Um. <clears throat> goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> No good? No. Ah, uh, better luck next time. Excuse me. Hello again. Hello. I'm meeting some friends for dinner later and I was wondering if you'd like to come along. Oh, what will you be doing? Dinner. We're all eating dinner. Oh, somewhere nice? It's just up the street. Oh, I didn't know there was a restaurant up the street. It's more of a private establishment. Oh, like a club? Not really. More like a house. A house? It's my parents' house. Oh. <laughs> oh they're great. You'd really love them. You know, I've just remembered I have plans later, but thank you. Right. Fine. Um, maybe another time then. Another time. How you doing, George? You okay? She didn't want to go out with me. Did you invite her to your parents' house? Yeah. That has never worked. Not once. It will work someday. <laughs> it won't work. Never. It will. I tell you it will. 
She doesn't know what she's missing out on. George, you have to stop doing this. You're bad for business. I tell you, she doesn't know what she's missing out on. Why don't you go tell her? Right, I will. No, George, I was only messing. Please, no, don't. I hold open doors. Excuse me? Doors. I hold them open. And not in that fake shivelers kind of way. Okay. And I walk on the outside of the footpad. Not because your women's magazines told you to look for it, and not because I even read women's magazines, but, but because it's the right thing to do. You have lovely shoes. I don't want them to get splashed. I love me mother. I talk to her every Sunday. I'm godfather to my, my sister's kids, and, and I have a vast array of, of friends and, and lots of interests. That's an awful lot about you. It is. You haven't asked anything about me. I haven't. I haven't. I'm sorry. Tell me something about yourself. I like my coffee on a Sunday afternoon. And I like this place because it's quiet and I can sit and read my book in peace. And occasionally I have a nice conversation with some of the other people, but for the most part, we all like to sit quietly. I like it because nobody bothers me. Oh, me too. I like to sit quietly. I don't like being approached by strangers making wild sweeping statements and invitations to meet their parents which I'm sorry is actually very very odd okay I get it I come on a little strong it's just that I think I have a lot to offer I've got a good job good friends and as I've already mentioned I'm a gentleman I think that for a woman such as yourself a woman such as myself yes a woman such as yourself someone sitting in a cafe on a Sunday afternoon reading a book about what women's things Everything about you says, keep away. And yet, here you are. Here I am. Because I think, I'm sure, I'm absolutely positive that beneath that icy exterior that there's someone worth knowing. Look, I'm willing to, to overlook that we got off on the wrong foot. It'll be a story we can tell our grandchildren someday. <laughs> Look, I appreciate the muffin and all, but I'd really prefer it if you left me alone to read my book. That I hope you don't mind. That muffin could be the start of something beautiful. I will give you the money for the muffin if you'll just leave me alone. I don't want the money for the muffin. Oh, please just go. Yes. Of course. I'm sorry about all this. Look, I do hope you'll come back. You see this? Easy, George. Can I get another refill? One decaf coming up. I've been drinking decaf. For three years. Do you want something to eat, hon? No, thanks. <sighs> hey there, friend. Let me by. Hey there, friend. Where are you going? Well, I thought I'd have a word with the lady. But that lady and I have a thing. I'd appreciate it if you'd back off. Does she know that? It's a work in progress. Because she's not even looking at you. It's a lover's spat. We're working it out. Is he with you? I've never seen him before in my life. Want to get out of here? More than I've ever wanted anything. This could have been something. No luck. She was emotionally unavailable. She was emotionally available for the other guy. It's not me. Of course not. Oh. Martha. What is it, George? Will you send that woman a muffin? <laughs> 